Gotcha. Sh it should have been she shake on my grimace. <laughs> Does that even fit? Well, if she grimace on my shake fits, then the opposite should fit. Well, it was just she grimace. Yeah, but they're combined tags together. I see. It was like a, a duo oh, thing. Oh, together, right, right, yeah, right. Because yeah, yeah, she yeah. grimace on my shake. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it, we got it. But more importantly, we're getting into this match here as already a bunch of percent onto Andrew T. Yeah, this matchup's really hard for Zia. So Ooh, okay. <laughs> we're making it look easy. You just you just have yeah. to land a nair, right? Just one nair. That's all I it mean, takes. yes, objectively, but I think she <laughs> she really struggles against characters that are like rushed down like this. Um, and yeah, fast slippery just characters that really, are also sort of small. Yeah, really good at it in general. His his one flaw is going to be that he gets killed super early off stage. He just has to not get hit off stage though, and then he's chilling. Ooh. That is a big up smash, though, to get the kill. I was going to say, ZSS there is at least, uh, it's not as hard to land as, uh, you know, it is against Inkling, but you do have to space it properly and, like, time it properly as you're landing. You can't just throw it out like you can against some of those taller characters. Yeah. Well, the biggest issue is that he uses, like, dash attack to go underneath it, so you can't just throw out Zare whenever you want. Like, he's so fast that he has the speed to get in there I and mess you up if you don't hit the Zare because the Zare only has a, a hitbox on the tip of it. So if he's able to maneuver around that, then it can be very problematic for ZSS. Ooh, but not as good problematic job of controlling as being this. stage. That up smash, though, not enough for the kill. But that is uh, that was such a great ledge trap sequence and is going to get... Oh, no. Okay, sorry. Not quite the kill just yet. But that will do it. All right. Not not a fan of the boost kick so much, I suppose. But the up kill does seal the deal regardless. Ooh, okay. Snags with the grab there. Tries to use the up smash. Jab one. Going to be frame one. So very good option in these scrap situations. Okay. Love that drop through up air from Thass. Smart getting away from there and now has an opportunity off stage once again. We've seen him get so much success uh, pushing Fox off of the stage. Okay. Ooh! Wrong on the tech chase there, but really good stuff to Fast. I really like that extension that he was going for. It just didn't work out for him. Yeah, great edge guard too. Trying to, catching the area that Andrew T kind of had to go to at that point. So it was kind of over for Andrew T. You can tell that Andrew's going for that that nair, looking for the uh, the nair flip kick again. But Zas doing a really good job of staying grounded, using a lot of shield. Shield's going to be the hardest thing for ZSS to deal with, um, and so far he's doing a really good job. Oh, oh my that's, gosh! That, that was that was a little crazy. He was holding on to that boost kick a little bit too long, throwing it out there out of nowhere. I respect it. If it worked, it would have been the sickest read ever. Oh, oh no, F smash. Okay. That move is a, a question mark, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, looking for this back air, but able to condition. It looked like he was looking for that back air, but that entire time was looking for the side B. Able yeah. to catch Thass's landing. Great job to Andrew T. Zero Suit Samus looking pretty strong here. Had a, Thass kind of had him on the ropes right at the start, but, you know, Nair Flip Kick totally shifted everything, and then suddenly Andrew T just took control. That's what she does. Yeah. That's what she does. She decides that she's winning, actually, at some point, and then that's your problem. All right, no character switches. Uh, I don't know if Thass actually really has much uh, in the back pocket as far as characters are concerned, but Fox is not really a mistake in this matchup regardless. He does have a Luigi, but not. Ooh, I would not. He does not play him in bracket. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, and also Luigi's think that ZSS is their worst matchup, according to BFP. So. Okay. Yeah, I believe he told he's told me that as well. Both the Samus. I was going to say Luigi say that it's their worst matchup, but I've talked to one Luigi about it. So <laughs> BFP as the representative for the Luigi mains. You know, I'm fine with that. He's the only Luigi main we need. Yeah, the only Ohio one that I see regularly. I think there's like Yoder Leahy who. That's Michigan. Oh, okay. Yeah, then yeah. no, there's only one. Yeah, the only one. Once again, the only one we want. So it's fine. Works out. Right, pretty back and forth here. Looking for that tech chase. Expecting Fast to roll in after that, but not able to find the down smash. Going to have to be really careful in these tech chase situations um, for both of them. Fast looking for that up smash, and Andrew T looking for that down smash. Oh, going to catch the jump with the up smash, though. Well done. 
Going to take that stock first, and now that's kind of like a reverse of that last game. Instead, Thass is going to steal back the stock for himself. That's definitely not killing. Yeah, I like how Thass is like playing super comfortable in the center of the stage here, making sure that Andrew T has to send him to the other side of the stage if he's gonna get that boost kick, because at these higher percents, but not super high, ZSS is gonna struggle to kill if you do get hit in the center of the stage, unless she's able to like charge an up smash. Oh, just jumps into it. Yeah, and even then, like, it doesn't kill. Yeah. <laughs> you have to be able to charge it. So able to get a lot of extra percent here. Yeah, and I mean, Fox a light character at 130%. Surprising to see that not kill. Either way, Ooh. though, continuing this lead, pushing it harder and harder, and now has Andrew T stuck on the side of the stage. Yeah, Andrew T was out of resources there, but able to make it back on stage with just the up B left and able to find that up throw. Sitting at 100%, but as we saw, he just needs like 40. Yeah, it was smart putting Fox onto that platform there. Kind of struggled to get back down, but he did get back down. And, you know, it's not looking great for Andrew T, especially as that up smash gets ripped, tearing him out of the sky. Oh, yeah. And we see that Andrew is very comfortable using a lot of, like, landing aerials, landing Nair like that, landing Zare. And that's the best way for ZSS to pressure your shield. But if Thass has a really good read on that, because he's doing the landing aerials, Thass just runs underneath before he gets the hitbox out and just up smashes him for it. And it's been working out really well for Thass. Yeah, and like, it, it's awkward because it is it is quite good for ZSS. You want to keep keep that space and use the aerials to keep him out. But he's uh, just so, he's quick. so good. Yeah. That's why this matchup is really hard. All right, okay. just able to stay outside of that range. But it's, it's looking worse and worse for Andrew T as this game goes on. Not able to kill with the up smash once again. Love that stall using the shine. Ooh, oh. able to confirm into the up air, but doesn't get the sweet spot. Reading the roll out there instead of roll in, but Andrew able to find that side B. Very similar situation to what we saw in game one, but is Andrew going to be able to rack up enough percent to, to take game two? Or are we going to see a game three? Game three. Oh, we'd love to see a game three. Oh, and that's... That hurts for sure. It still has his resources, though. Is able to get it back. But yeah. the back air on the jump, well done. Waiting patiently for him to use his resources and catching him when he was unprepared for that back air. All right. Going to be seeing a game three here come out. Nice close set between Andrew T and Thass. Of course, two players at a pretty similar skill level. You're saying Thass is like around fourth, Andrew T also around there, probably around he's fifth or so. He's third in the state right now. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, he's underneath doorstop and Geist. Well, yep. So these players very much around the same spot. And well, this, is, this is going to be a close match, and we'll see who is able to make it on top on this particular Yeah, bracket. probably very important for PR rankings this next season, too. Might well be, yeah. There's not going to be too many opportunities for them to be yeah. to play head to head, as you know they are from the two furthest Opposite possible, ends, yeah, yeah. <laughs> two possible furthest possible ends of the state. Neil, of course, is the in the unfortunate part of the state where they're far away from everything <gasps> else, and that will be another near flip kick. Starting game two, uh, sorry, starting game three, like they started game one, and that's going to be pretty great for them. Yeah, that's going to have to play super patient here, not let that get in his head, because if he starts panicking, that's where ZSS thrives. She's, Andrew especially is really good at playing the situation where he has a lead and just kind of stacking up the damage more and more. Um, very evasive player, very good at not getting hit, so it's going to be pretty hard for Thass to find the kill. Able to get that up smash, but again, not high enough percent for the kill just yet. Yeah, Thass at the same time, very good at dealing with that evasiveness and just going in and finding his spots to get those hits. We've seen that time and time again for him getting those kills on with the up smashes, and we'll probably see that again uh, as the set goes on. Okay, recognizes that Andrew's going for a lot of short hop fair out of shield, so a lot of the time you see fast run up and then crouch after he shields, and it seems to be working for him. Oh, but that could have been very scary. All right, gonna catch the roll and well done. Yeah, choosing to just go back to the ledge there instead of trying to contest with that down smash. Okay. Not able to get the punish there, but also not getting hit by it. Getting the down smash on the whiffed up smash. 74%. Uh, Thass, can, Thass can rack that up pretty quickly, but not if he's getting down smashed at the ledge there. And the classic reverse up B that will be able to send him out the, the right side, and that means he will not survive that. 
Andrew T, once again, finding himself in a full stock lead, second time of the set. Uh, second time of the game, I mean. Great, just playing super patient here, using the lasers to rack up extra damage, looking for that dash attack to get something started. Able to string two up airs together. Andrew sitting at 85%, has to watch out for like a, uh, a tech chase. Oh my gosh, what? Oof. All right, gets through with the back air. Setting up Andrew T for a ledge trap situation here. Another one. But can he finish this out? But can he finish out the stock? That's really what counts yeah. here. Looking for jumps off the ledge too. Having that flip jump's a really good mobility option when you're stuck at the ledge of ZSS, but not when you're playing against somebody that's used to calling that out. So have to be really careful with that resource, not to just pull the trigger on um, just like out of habit because Thass will be ready for it. I do like Thass also double jumping in front of Andrew's shield. Trying to bait him into doing something, catching the jump that time with the back air, as he's done so many times. Getting another kill, Andrew T and Thass tied as they're going into the final stretches of the set. Both incredibly talented players, but only one gets into winner's side of top eight here. Okay, Andrew looking for that down smash. Thass playing super high, playing on the platforms, just trying to avoid that, that space where Andrew's throwing out these paralyzers. Trying to poke with the Zare to put in a tech chase situation, especially if Andrew's able to get the uh, tech read out and get that down smash at the ledge. Yeah, or uh, I believe they're getting to the percent where Zare can confirm into the back air, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Oh, okay. Trying to get an air dodge in for the down smash, but he does not quite get it from Thass. Thass staying resolute there, not doing any panicky options. Using the fair one, frame one uh, manipulation where she like she kicks back, and so a lot of the time, if you're air to airing people, she won't get hit. But oh, oh my that gosh. was a little awkward. Couldn't get through the platform in time. That up B not going to connect. This is so close. Of course, unfortunately, only one player can get through. Oh my god, that was a good weight on the uh, on the tech, but doesn't really get anything for it. Oh my Ball. gosh. Yeah, it does not die from that. Was not even at 100 percent yet. Oh! oh, this should be it, though. 140% for yeah. sure. Fox is out of there, and Andrew T barely taking that set over Thass in a very close 2-1. That was a juicer for sure. Yeah.